Hey everybody, welcome to another Singularity of the Day. Today's question is how do I control, how do I manage my result files and their location for SOLIDWORKS simulation? So there's two things to take a look at here. First, the file location for your active study or really the, the individual study that you're working with. Secondly, if you're going to create new studies, what's the default location that's going to be used? So first off, for an active study, right click on the top of the study tree, go to properties. And right at the bottom here, you can specify your results folder. So you can change this to another location using the browse button. All right. So if we create a new study, what are the what's the default location? Well, to do this, let's go to our simulation menu and then options. And this menu here will go to our default options results. So this is where you can actually specify to use the same SOLIDWORKS document folder. For instance, this part that I have open, it will actually create the simulation files in that same location. Um, if I tend to do that, I like to use the checkbox right under here you know, to help consolidate those files, um, help automatically manage the multiple files that are going to be generated, and put them in a desired under subfolder. So you can give that a name there. Or if you want to keep your simulation files to another location, maybe somewhere that's local on a different drive for file space requirements, you can choose the second option, user defined and specify that desired location. So again, for new studies, what's going to be used here? Come into your simulation options, default options, results. But of course, be aware of your active study. Go to the properties there to specify where those results are going to be created or read if you're opening up someone else's data. So this helps work with simulation, um, new, old, and existing studies. Have a great day.